Hey. Oh, I'm just looking through some old pics on my phone. Yep, some of these are from like a year ago, except they feel like five years ago. This year has gone on so long. Well, like this trip we took last year. Look, remember this bridge? And this really obnoxious bird? <laughs> it feels like that was, ugh, geez, definitely more than a year ago. You know, I'm pretty introverted, and it hasn't been as hard on me to stay in as it is on some people, but I really do miss travel. I miss being able to pack up and go someplace cool with you. In the car, or on a plane, or just anywhere. Yeah. I feel really confined lately. How about you? Yeah, it sucks. No, I know. It'll get better eventually. I just wish we had a better idea of when that might be, you know? Alright, before we go full on into this pity party, why don't we redirect our energy? Maybe use our imaginations a bit. Yeah. So, like, where would we go if we could go anywhere right now? Let's do that. Where would you like to go? Oh? That does sound nice. I like that. I would love to be there with you. Hmm. For me, I think I'd go back to that little village we wandered into when we took that whirlwind tour around Europe a few years ago. Yeah, you know, the one with the church and that little pub. What was it called? Yeah. I'd love to check into a hotel there and just enjoy the countryside. Go for long walks, look at old historical sites, talk to the locals. It sounds heavenly. I don't need anything too fast-paced. I mean, I like cities, don't get me wrong, but that place seemed like an oasis. A little pocket of peace. And still close enough to the city that we could get food delivered. <laughs> yes, exactly. In fact, here's how I imagine we do it. We get off the plane and get a car to the village. We check into some charming little inn with a lot of history and some very creaky floorboards. Yep, that's required. We'd order pizza, because pizza is everywhere, and then we'd go to sleep and wake up to the sound of rain on the window pane. No, but it's okay, we can still do stuff in the rain. We can go see that old church. We can hang out and talk to people. Oh, we could browse some of those little shops. Yeah. And we can stand in the town square and kiss under an umbrella and enjoy the fact that we're halfway around the world from home. Ah, oh, sounds amazing. And after a couple of weeks exploring, we could come back here all recharged. You think? Okay, I'll make you a deal. Once we can travel again, we'll go back there. And we'll do all those things. And we'll make some really great memories and definitely not take any of it for granted. Nope, never again. I will never, ever take travel for granted again. Being able to go places and see new things is a privilege. We've been lucky to do it before, and I plan to do it a whole bunch more someday. God, yes. And we'll also take lots of pictures. Of course. So that when we're back here again, and we're back in our routine, and the days are running together, I can go through my phone sometimes and look at the photos and remember how much fun we had so far away. And start making plans for another trip. You and me exploring the world. Definitely. As fun as it is to go to new places, it's not the same without you. You're my favorite adventure buddy. I love you, sweetness. You okay? I know, we'll get there. Someday this will be better, and we'll be boarding a plane to parts unknown. Or, you know, just back to that little village. <laughs> Works for me. In the meantime, we've got these pics and we've got each other. That's pretty damn awesome. Well, you're not exactly a vacation some of the time, you know? But you really can be a trip. <laughs>